Hello, chefs. Bright early in the morning. Because we're making soup beans. Um, today's soup bean day. Um, in other words, ham and beans. So, uh, what I'm doing, I had Mama clean the beans, dried beans. She, uh, last night picked the bag beans out of it and put the good beans in there. And, um, these are navy beans. Where you let them soak overnight, that's what you're supposed to do. To help give them some energize. It plumps them up, too, from being basically yeah. what's considered freeze-dried. Yeah, because they, they, they're they just so tiny. Mm -hmm. So, that's what me and Mama does. Soak them overnight. Get your crock out. Um, got them in there now. And I got, like, about six cups of water in there. Six or seven cups of water. Can't remember how many cups I put in. I think it's seven. All together. And I got some ham. This ham came from Sam's. Um, not sponsored by them. But this ham came from Sam's. A.K. Walmart. Because it's the same one by Walmart. And it was on sale. It's just a little chopped ham. I chopped it up myself. I diced it up. It was a chunk of big chunk of ham meat. Boneless ham meat. I like using bone in, but they didn't have any bone in, so nobody did. Um, I gotta get in there, cutting board. So I. Gonna grab another cutting board, that's what I had to go do real quick. For a second. And here's the beans. I can show you. Um you can buy these in your store. Mm hmm Um They're that big. They're not very big at all. And these are navy beans. And you do have to look through them. You're going to find some that are darker color. You throw the darker colored ones away. You're going to find some that split in half. Throw that away. We always keep the good beans. Yeah. Some people just dump the bag in there and let us go. Yep. We don't. <laughs> we like sorting through them because last time we did that, little little Billy got upset because he said the bean tastes funny. So, oh, my mom always taught me to look your beans over before you, you use them anyway, so. I remember always sitting in the living room with a big old pot. But she did navy and pinto together, so. But Papa can't have pinto. Pinto beans hurt his stomach. So I'm going to take a little bit of onion. Not a whole onion, just an onion and a half. Maybe a quarter. That's all you need. You don't need a lot. Yes, my knife is like a razor blade. I sharpen it every other day. <laughs> and they don't have to be finely diced or anything. You just want to Medium chop. I, if you want me to show you finely diced, I can. But you don't want it super finely diced. So you want to put that in there. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. I thought I grabbed chicken base. I grabbed oh. baked base. I don't have ham base anymore. I used to have it. I just can't get it here. Um, anybody in your area, if you guys know where you can get it at in your area, let me know. Because it's hard to get here. I don't know why. But it is hard. And the last place I got it was up in Dubuque, Iowa. Was it? No. Branson? Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. This is where I got it at. 
um, but you can use chicken base. And if you can get the ham, ba uh, the pork base, use pork base. Pork base really turned it out real good, and everybody loved it. But they love it when I do chicken base too. But you want to put a little chicken base in there, probably about two tablespoons. And then you want to put some white pepper in there. Uh, white pepper is a strong pepper. The strongest pepper is is red pepper. But you want to put a little bit of white pepper in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. And a little bit of garlic powder. And that's how I do my beans. It's pretty easy. And I mix it all up. And Right now my crock has been heating for the last... Um, 10 minutes. I like getting that warm before I start adding ingredients to it. Um, you can do this first thing in the morning like I like I tell you guys when you guys work. You guys are going to work and stuff. You can soak the beans overnight. Cut up your ham or buy diced ham already. and uh, Or ham hocks. Buy ham hocks. We couldn't find any ham hocks either. Mm -mm. We was going to buy ham hocks, but we found them. But then you take and soak your beans overnight, put your diced ham or your ham hocks in there and, and all the greens here. Turn your crock on. Um, if you're going to leave all day and you're not going to mess with it, I highly just put it on low and let it cook all day slow. Um, as of right now, I got it on high because I want to get warmed up first. Um, so while you're doing all that in first thing in the morning, turn it on high so the crop can get hot and then turn it down on low before you walk out the door, you come home from work, make you some cornbread and fi fried potatoes and then be the awesomest dish you ever had. I'm mixing it up real good and making sure it wakes it up real good. And um, everything's in there. And I usually add the juice from the package of the ham that I get. I always add it in here too for just extra flavor, the smokiness. But that's how easy this is. It's a quick, easy recipe. Mom's going to make cornbread tonight. And um, I'm going to make some fried potatoes and with bacon. It's the best way to make fried potatoes, use bacon. Chop up a little bit of bacon, pan in the skillet, start frying the bacon first, and then put the potatoes on top of it. Mix it up. It's delicious. But you just want the bacon to just start cooking before you put the potatoes on it. And once it starts cooking, throw your sliced potatoes in there in the skillet, mix it up, add a little bit of onions to it. There's usually none left fried potatoes here when we do that. So that's what you do with the beans. It's a pretty easy, quick, simple recipe. Put the lid on it, forget it. And that'll be on all day until 4 o'clock. I think, what, 3 30, 4 o'clock. Yeah. Until the kids get home. Once the kids get home, the, the first thing they come in the door and they say, I'm hungry. <laughs> or watch for supper. Yeah, it's always what when they come home from school. <laughs> but that's how I do it, and it's pretty easy. Um, we appreciate you all comments and everything you guys are saying to us. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed our little history about us together, and um what happened and why we are together again and everything um it's a lot of memories and stuff that we had to bring out to you guys but you know it didn't bother us so question i got you if you have a sin mystic other husband boyfriend or whatever how'd you guys meet if you guys want to leave me a comment on that. Maybe that'll...
spark up the comic book. <laughs> the comic book. <laughs> I call it a comic book. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll spark it up for y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, I haven't ate my breakfast yet. Usually I'll have me some cilantro eggs and some onion and some pepper, bell pepper, sweet pepper, whatever. I'll make some, I'll fry me some potatoes and eggs. I'll fry me some eggs. I'll put some onions and uh, sweet peppers in it and cilantro. That's I have one of my biggest things. Cilantro is a good thing for diabetics, they say. Um, it helps their sugar level bounce out, right? So I eat a lot of cilantro. You can ask mama. Yep. And I like cilantro. It's good in eggs. It's very good in eggs. Um, it's one of my favorite things in the morning. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. Work on my breakfast in a minute. I got some ham I saved from the from here. We're gonna have a piece of ham, small piece of ham, and I'm gonna make some scrambled cilantro eggs and peppers for me and Mama. And there's um, there's breakfast. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Tell me and Mama rolls on it. And uh, I don't know if you guys want uh, any other recipes done. Uh, you gotta let me know because I'm trying to give you guys every recipe you can think of. And I read recipes online. Um, any uh, recipe you think I should try to read online, let me know. Like your culture of food. That's what I'm trying to get to some of these people out there. You know, you guys are family to me. I would like to know um, what's the biggest thing in your country. What do you guys eat a lot of? Um and see if I can make it for you into an American dish if it's from a different country. But I won't make it an American dish. I'll make it the way you guys make it. But I can't make nothing super hot. I'm just letting you know that. If it ain't super hot, <laughs> might as well shut it off because Uncle Hillbilly can't eat hot food. Me and Mama and Sissy's the only ones that eat a little bit spicy food than usual. So... That's the biggest thing there. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that likes real spicy, spicy food. Well, I can't make that for Uncle Hillbilly and Little Man because um, they don't like it. It's going to take time for Little Man to get used to it. But once he gets used to it, I think he'll eat more of it. Because he eats my jalapeno Cheetos once in a while. So I'm just, I just let him gradually eat them so he can get used to um, hotness. Um, kids out there these days eat them Takis. And I don't know how they eat them. I just do not like the taste of them. Um, I like the cheese Takis. They're pretty good. And the barbecue Takis, they're pretty good. But them spicy ones, I don't know how they eat them. Tastes like vinegar and lime juice in it. It was so bitter. I just don't like the taste of them. But there's kids out there these day, out there loves the loves them to death. So my daughter she'll eat them. Um, she eats what the red ones. She won't eat the blue bag. She says. Is it the too, purple bag? I think it's the purple bag. Um, she says the blue ones are too spicy and the green ones are real, real nasty or something. I don't know. But, that's just how kids are nowadays. And it ain't super spicy. They're, go for it, you know. Good example, Art. Yeah, our buddy Art. <laughs> A little he head loves, of Billy's best friend. He, he loves that spicy talkies. I don't know how they get, they love them. I just don't know, but that's just kids for you. You will see Papa in a different shirt at the end of this video because he's got a doctor appointment today for a physical. Yeah, this, this is home shirt. Yeah. 
I even got a pair of home pants on, too. It's just, I just, this is my night jammies, actually, almost. <laughs> this is what I wear at nighttime. He does have an actual pair of pajama pants, but he just doesn't wear them. I know. It's just me. You've seen me in mine. Get me a cup of coffee. But we love you all, and we'll be back in a little while and show you the end results of this. And then maybe show you that when Mama makes cornbread, how's that sound? Or me making taters. That's probably what I need to do. Show them how I do my taters. We'll do Thank that. You. We'll show you how we do. I do my taters and see if you guys do it the same way. So we'll be back in a little bit, y'all. And we love you. And see you in a little bit. Peace. What's up, little chefs? I'm uh, peeling taters right now. So the little hillbilly won't complain about being having pills on it. He don't like pills. I don't know why. You give him a baked potato, he digs it all out, the center out of it. I bet there's some of you guys out there do the same thing. Um, but I try to respect him by making him feel good that I do do what he wants me to do. I'm peeling him because I'm going to slice them tonight. We're having fried taters with the, with the beans. Mama's over there making cornbread right now behind you guys. Um, Hi. While I'm doing this. Beans have been cooking all day. Um, they smell delicious. I'm telling you what. Making my mouth water all day. I've been trying not to want to eat them. Um, I had to go to the doctor's appointment today. So my doctor today said I was doing pretty good. The doctor's proud of him. And right now, I just I chopped up some bacon. I put it in my cast iron. I'm going to let it start cooking. You know, this table got pushed back like three or four feet. I don't know why. Pull out, sorry if the table was moving. Maybe it made you kind of have a little sideways a little bit. While that's cooked, starting to cook, I'm going to slice potatoes. This is the way I do my potatoes, uh, fried potatoes. I always uh, peel them for my, just one thing. My son doesn't like the peeling, like I said. And then I, I got a slicer here on the side. You guys can get these. This is the old fashioned way, and you got the other way where they got a little thing on the thing and you just slice it that way. Actually, the old fashioned way is by hand. Yeah. This is my old fashioned way. And that's how I was taught with a knife. But. Mom's working on that while I'm working on this. That might fall off. Damn. Ain't got no Always room. remember when you make a good fried taste, good bacon with. Sorry guys, I put the pan back. I just ain't got no room over here. Good bacon with a good fried taste. She just got done making cornbread. She can show you the beans when she gets a chance. Mama's been working on the house today. Especially the kitchen. Sorry, I ain't talking. I'm trying to concentrate. I'll take you. 
and show you. Hang on. Just don't look at the floor or anything. Still a work in progress. That's one sitting on the table still. We ain't throwing them away. <laughs> Can I have your... There was a wooden spoon that was right here. Not now. You can use that spoon. Don't that look delicious? I got busy cleaning house and Papa took a nap. And we forgot to take the crock pot off of uh, high. <laughs> oh well. That thing that came out here. A oh, bit. hang on, guys. I just took you off the thing. Sorry, blacking the screen with my fingers. I came out here a little bit ago and it was boiling. <laughs> like, oh no, I forgot to take it off high. So it was cooking on high all day and usually it's cooking on low. And I forgot about it. Y'all can yell at me. It's Papa messed up. Hey, hang on a second, guys. My thing's giving me fits. There we go. Got you fixed. I'm sure I had a better one, but eventually. And we appreciate the new subscribers. We did you ever get their names written down? No, I've been busy. Yell at me. Don't yell at her. It's my fault for not keeping up with it. That's two potatoes. Got to stare at them now. At the doctor's, they measured dad's heart. Dad. Papa's height, and they said he's five foot seven. I and he know. tried to argue with them. I am arguing with him because I ain't that high. But he's not no five eleven anymore, though. Woo! It got warm in here. Papa knows what tall he is. Papa thinks he knows how tall he is. Papa don't have to think. Papa knows. <laughs> no, he just thinks. See how we argue? She's four foot nine. No, I'm not. And I measured her before and it said four foot nine. And she still argues with me about it. You can't read a tape measure. Yes, I can. No, you can't. She's four foot nine. She just doesn't want to agree with it. <laughs> I am short, but I'm not that short. I'm paying salt and pepper on these. You're fine. Yes. I got one more tater pit in there. But just turn it like that. Overdo it. And you're going to have to put it in though to make it enough. Yeah. These guys love my fried taters. Yep. Because I do it a certain way. This is the best way to make good fried taters. Make them nice and crispy and thin. Next month, I go see my doctor, and we were talking earlier that it's it's weird 
that my doctor doesn't check my heart out because my dad's had heart surgery and he had heart attacks that led up to his surgery. My mom had strokes and I've told my doctor about both of my parents and yet my doctor hasn't checked my heart out. I had chest pains back in, I mean, major chest pains back in, oh gosh, 2019? Mm-hmm. That sent me in an ambulance to the ER. And a heart doctor there did see me, but they just said it was just an inflamed muscle. But I still have chest pains. Not like I did it before I went to the hospital, but they they can them chest pains can get pretty bad. Oh, I get them still, but not. Gonna put that other part of the day is in. <laughs> Got that other cave in. You guys can sit there and watch me. You don't got the cornbread in yet? I'm heating the oven up. Oh. I like to put it in a nice hot oven before. This way it's not in a cold oven trying to cook. So once you flip these taters once, you add a little bit more um, pepper, a little bit more salt. And I'm going to add a little bit more bubble juice to it. Are you getting low on that? Not yet. So. I'm going to have to. I'm going to add a little bit more of that. And then... I'm going to put a lid on it. Let's start cooking. Put a little bit more salt in it. Yes, he's wearing the same shirt. He would not take it off. He wore that shirt to the doctor's. His excuse, it's comfortable. It's my comfortable shirt. Me and doctor didn't say nothing. No. That's what I like about my doctor. He's cool. He's, but he's blunt and to the point, though. He's laid back. Cool doctor. You want a laid back, cool doctor. If you don't have them, you won't have good doctor's points. That's how I feel about it. Boy, dang it. I got dirty look saying that. Mm. Our dog Ruby, she's got very dry skin and she'll chew on herself if we ain't around her. That's right. That's why she wears a um, onesie. Onesie. I gotta take my socks off. My feet are my my left foot feels like it's on fire. So the next thing I do for potatoes, I take the half an onion. And I shred it with the shredder. My mom would take an onion and slice it so you can cut it up and put it in your beans, in your bowl. My mom's onion's already in the beans if you want. Hers were too, but if you wanted extra onion, she had an onion sliced up. I just how my mom rolled. And yes, next month when we go to my dad's, my son will be there. No, he won't talk to me, but that's okay. You know, the good Lord knows when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Nobody else does. You can't force somebody to talk to you if they don't want to talk to you. Nope. That's how I feel about it. Unless your name is Little Man, then you gotta force him to talk. 
Because if you don't force them to talk and you let it go. It gets worse. Oh, yeah. I'll be ready. He's not going to come right out and talk to you either. We had to uh, sit down with him the other day. and um, He don't want a lot of people know this, but he's got a girlfriend and and he's afraid that if everybody knows about him having a girlfriend, he's going to make fun of him and stuff. Like we told him, you don't have to be afraid. It's just part of life. We don't care if you have a girlfriend or not. Um, so him and his girlfriend tomorrow night are going to a dance at that junior high. Yeah. It's the Hocus Pocus dance, they're calling it. Can we tell them we can go? Yeah. Sorry if my chair's in the way. I got up and I spinned it around. Well, you spun it all right. All they see is your head. So, I'm adding the, the onions to it right now. I'm adding the onions to it. Move the lid out of the way. It was funny at the doctor's office today. His doctor told him to take his shoes off. He asked the doctor, you really want me to? Because they stink. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check your feet. You took them off and Dr. went, woo, okay. <laughs> it was funny. That's why we say Papa's got nacho feet. You'll probably never eat nachos ever again now. <laughs> I ain't lying. My feet smell like corn. Oh, yeah. Cooked nacho corn. Yep. I don't know why. I just, I've washed them. I put athletic feet stuff on them. I put that uh, mess on it, this cream on it. I've even changed. Shoot, we were even to tell like him that five. you haven't gotten that one cream for your legs yet. Oh. I'll message him later. And he's going to help me get my uh, sleep machine at night. I'm going to I'm gonna get that Inspire. It goes up here in your, in your chest. Um. They put it in you, and you click on it with this machine, this other thing, and it's because I cannot sleep with a breathing out of this thing over my face, because I'm a belly sleeper, and I sleep on my belly. And his face is face down in his pillow. And so. when they did that sleep study test, that was the roughest night I ever had in my life of sleep. Because you had to sleep a certain way for the sleep study. I did it. And the place that's supposed to get me my CPAP machine said that my insurance won't cover it. Even though my, my, my insurance said they would. So. I'm fighting the insurance on that. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of them hectic thin moments. You're getting to know us a little bit more by us talking to you and telling you guys a little bit about mm -hmm. it. I'm a diabetic. I've been a diabetic since um, 2018. Um, that's how long I've been diabetic now. And um, I try to take care of myself. I do not like going to hospitals. I do not like going to doctors. I'm going to be honest with you. I hate it. I became a diabetic a year later. Yeah. <laughs> and I just hate I hate going to doctors. I hate going to hospitals. Um, you tell every, me. It's funny. Every time he gets a kidney stone, he'll look right at me and he says, I got a damn kidney stone, but you're not taking me to the hospital. I'll tell him to. <laughs> and every time he does that, usually one of the kids is in the room and they just bust out laughing too because it's funny. 
Last time I went to the hospital for a kidney oh, stone, God. I went there at 7 o'clock at night and didn't get home until 6 o'clock next day. And the kids stayed in the ER room, out in the ER waiting area. And they didn't care at the ER. No, the nurses took good care of them. They came and asked us, oh, can we give you kids this? Can we give you kids that? I would get up to go out and check on them, and the nurse would come in and go, we've already done that. They're doing good. You just stick here with your husband. Yes, ma'am. They, they treated our kids real good, and that's why we like the hospital we go to, Trinity. I think I, I, think I drank six to eight cups of coffee that night. That's why we get along with Trinity Hospital real yeah. well, is because they treat us real good. They're always have been a good hospital. I'm going to tell you, if you live up here in the Quad Cities area or in Des Moines area or Peoria area, um, there's Trinities there. Go to Trinity. Trinity is the best hospital I ever had mm -hmm. in my life. I'm going to be honest. They took care of my daughter um, they, when she got really sick on me. Um, they took care of my son. They took care of me, my wife. My family's all gone there since we've been together. Well, that's where we go. The hospital, even though you're on a special diet, they still pile your tray of food. They want you to eat. Usually it's piled because my wife will be there eating with me. Or if I'm in, he eats, plus I give some of it to the kids. Because, you know, when they come in, oh, I'm hungry. And my mom, I remember every time my mom was in the hospital, she was always bringing home the boxes of cereal, the rounded soup spoons, napkins, salt and pepper packets, sugar packets, straws, <laughs> desserts. <laughs> oh, yeah. She brought a lot of stuff home. The silverware we kept telling her you got to leave at the hospital. I'm paying for it. But mom, you got to leave it at the hospital. Nope. Those fried potatoes are none. Yeah. We'd get her home and she'd bring out like a handful of them spoons out of her purse. Every time. Here, go put them in the sink and wash them. Oh my God, mom. At least I'm, the hospital didn't care. I remember when I worked at uh, Rim City. The biggest thing that people stole there was our steak knives. It was them big handled ones? Yeah. Yeah. You, every, say, you say them are junk, though. Well, every um, Wednesday I did my order, I had to order a case of them. Every Wednesday. How many Wednesdays a month? Every Wednesday. Oh, man. And we had to order a case of them. Cause they would still. We had to, uh, after a month being there, we had to mark our name in. Is your phone playing a video? Yeah. I can see it. Can you? I can't see what it is. But it looks like something's going <laughs> raining down on the screen. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's one of the guys I watch, um, um, it's a slot machine video. Yeah, I like watching him. He's he's from um, Turkish. Reminds and, him of his friend that he took to the airport the yeah. other day. And uh, he's funny. I mean, very funny. I, um, he plays slot machines, and I like watching him. Um, he wins a lot of money, too. I mean, a lot of money. <laughs> Last video I watched, he won a million dollars. Yeah, I, am. I know. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> the same thing, watching the video. Yep. But that's how we do it at home. We, me and her, we'll sit here and eat dinner and watch a video and talk to each other. And the kids will be talking to us. We talk to them back. I really don't pay attention to the video when I'm eating. I just have it running there. And it keeps my mind uh, at ease. Um, because... Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on in this world right now, and you're just thinking about it, you know, what happens with these families that lost their homes in Florida. Um, 
the families lost their homes in in North Carolina, Tennessee, and all in that area. And, and it's sad to see that the government ain't really helping them. Um, they're saying they're helping them, but to be honest, most of the money's going across that war. Mm -hmm. You know, and that ain't even our war. Uh -uh. And a lot of people don't see that, you know. But the good Lord does. He sees it. I wish I can drop what I'm doing at home and go down there and help them out. But I can't do that because I got a family to take care of. And I ain't that way when I got my family to take care of. If I'm going to drop everything I'm going to do at home, my family's going with me. That's how I am. And, and if I can't take my family with me, then I ain't going to go, you know. I just ain't trying to sound mean about it, but it's just me. But we're waiting for the kids to get home and get the stuff set up on the table and everything. And waiting for the cornbread to finish cooking. Once all that gets done, we'll bring you guys back and show you guys what the meal looks like. And the table will be cleaner because Mama's been cleaning. But don't mind the mess because Mama's been cleaning today again. She does every day. She cleans every day. And that's, that's what I love about my wife. I don't have to tell her to clean. She does it. I, I know men should clean too, but... Usually she likes doing all the cleaning because she likes it a certain way. So that's the reason why. So we love you all. And we'll be back in a few minutes, okay? So see you in a little bit. Peace. All right, little chefs, here it is. That's the way Mama does it. I do mine with cornbread in the inside of it. And that was the potatoes. Gone. I do the cornbread inside of it. Here's mine without cornbread inside of it. Hey, little hillbilly, can you do a prayer? Dear Lord, thank you for food, Donna. Thank you for this Halloween. Dear everybody in this world, shout out my family, because out mom and dad's back, everything else. Amen. Thank you, little hillbilly. <laughs> gonna be gone and get smashed. Well, we love beans. It's the thing we love. Um, like, subscribe, share us out. Down below, you see the description below with all the stuff down there. Read that, too. And enjoy this video. <coughs> Sorry. And God bless you and love you all. Peace.